Well, Team Ultra made it to Calgary. Just filling up with some more diesel, going for a pit stop. I uh, encountered some pretty terrible roads, trailers, filthy. Uh, yeah, we're just at a Sobeys, uh, getting some fuel. So yeah, we're uh, not quite halfway there yet, but uh, long trek on the way. We're gonna fill up and make a quick, quick pick stop and away we go. Marcel's old and hey, he scratched the paint. Look, he scratched the paint. Yeah. You get, you get Marcel, the Marcel uh, Blue Angel Stratton. Yeah. Get big driver over here. He's uh, he's getting us there safely, I think. You think? I hope. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Not bad, I slept most of it. Always reassuring, I threw <laughs> Marcel uh, Blue Angel Scratton, how, how you feeling? Good. Good. First trip to Chillax. That so wasn't creepy at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is his first trip with us to Chillax, so hi Marcel. Nice to see you. If you watch any of the Leo King videos that we like and share on our YouTube channel, this is the guy that makes them. So follow him at Leo King. Um, and we have, uh, I can share the link on Facebook. And you all know him, he's Ticks or Dad, depending on who you are. Um, yeah, this is, this is the crew, uh, the Ultra RC crew for this weekend. So we have, what, eight, eight more hours of driving? Close to Close yeah, yeah, so we made it to Golden tonight. So kind of a day one recap, just getting something to eat at the little boss pizza here. So yeah, we'll see how tomorrow goes. We're gonna head to, head to Langley and uh, talk to a supplier, um, see what he's up to. Um, so we're pretty excited about that. So yeah, we'll uh, keep everybody updated. So yeah, day one recap from Golden BC. First stop at day number two. Boom. We're uh, golden, or we left golden. Now we're in Revelstoke, BC. It's got some beautiful scenery here. It's like some mountains and some clouds. It's, it's like almost like we're in the mountains. Holy Mackinac. Now we're gonna get some fuel and we're probably gonna go wake up Marcel because he's been sleeping and snoring the whole freaking trip. He's doing. Hi, how you doing? Hey. Sleeping Beauty! That's not service or what? <laughs> Just take it. <laughs> now we're pretty dirty. This last night we hit some roads, like I said. Hit some bad roads, set a camor, and all the way through the mountains, pretty much. We're pretty sketchy. But uh, we're gonna go get another coffee and we're gonna continue on the adventure! 2018 Big Barn Shootout track layout big big obstacles lots of elevation change so you come down the front straightaway here into this double uh, up on this tabletop but big elevation change that's halfway up that bobcat over there come down uh, a big kind of sweeping table and it s's out towards the back fence back order and then you get another big double coming to a huge sweeper turn 
coming up with an S and then kind of a floater chicane into a hard 180 down here. A good good passing zone. The rhythm section. And then you're into the rhythm section on the front. So step up into a huge triple and then back around another 180 into oh, a hard a, a hard tight um, like big oh, jump. And then there's a drop down and you're up and down and around and back up on an elevation down the stairs around the corner and that's a lap of your 2018 big barn trudeau trap Big Barn Shootout in Chilliwack. You got um, the year right this time. <laughs> thanks, buddy. Um, yeah, we uh, had a really long weekend. Left uh, left home Wednesday afternoon. Uh, didn't get here till Thursday afternoon. Uh, went to HPD, uh, one of our big suppliers out here, uh, and hung out with Chris and Dan, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, so thanks again for the hospitality, guys. Um, but yeah, let's uh, walk through everybody and uh, see how they did. So let's start off with uh, Sharp. How'd you do, buddy? I uh, fell short a little bit of my goals. I was shooting to make the A in both Nitro Truggy and uh, Electric Truggy. Uh, I was in B in both. I got uh, fourth in Nitro, and I'm not, to be honest, I'm not even sure where I wound up in E Truggy. Um, it was a good weekend, though. The track was really good. Uh, it was a lot of, a lot more challenging than it looked like when we did our track walk. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, met a lot of interesting people, the lovely people of BC and Chilliwack. Thank you for your hospitality. Um, yeah, it was a good time. I'm already kind of looking forward to, definitely looking forward to the season, and uh, hoping to kick some butt on our, our uh, series at home. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, learned a lot. It was really, really awesome to see uh, Ty and Gord Tessman there and watch Ty run and uh, have a few questions answered by both him and Gord, so that was really handy. They had a lot of good advice and interesting uh, information to, to share, so it was awesome. It was a really good weekend, I enjoyed it. Yeah, so there was uh, 315 people or registered cars there. 
Uh, there was about 130, 150 people somewhere in there. Um, so there was a whole bunch of people there uh, and it put on uh, a great event uh, out in Chilliwack. So like Sean said, uh, the Tessmans are out there. So uh, if you don't know who Gord or Ty Tessman are, um, they are actually from Medicine Hat, Alberta. Um, and Ty Tessman is a Infomar world champion. Uh, he won it back in 2014. Um, he's also won 15 or 20 Infomar Roar Nats as well. Uh, the kids just rocket ship fast. He was he was about two seconds faster in the field uh, in a 30 minute main and nitro buggy. He was uh, a minute 41 ahead of everybody, so uh, about four and a half uh, laps ahead. So uh, he was pretty rocket ship fast. Um, but yeah, here let's uh, continue on here. Uh, let's go and talk to Hicks. Hey, here, buddy. Well, I transferred from the C to the B in my short course in dramatic style, body askewed and barely made it across the line. I almost won it if the body wouldn't have went. I had the win locked right up. Oh well, still finished second, fell short in the B, didn't transfer to the A, so whatever. Truggy, same thing, didn't do so good in the B and did not transfer to the A, but still had a good time overall. Thanks for all the hospitality, Dan and Chris. Um, it was a great weekend. The rain kind of hampered me a little bit, but we got over it. So, thank you very much. We got rain every single day. Um, so Friday morning, Saturday morning, Sunday morning. Uh, and currently it's raining right now. Would you believe it? Oh, well, you better. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we're uh, on the way home here. Just almost at hope. Uh, but yeah, we still got Marcel to talk to. Uh, Marcel was probably the busiest out of all of us. Uh, he was running four classes like a maniac. Um, one of them may have been a little bit forced, um, just because Evan Freleek, thank you Evan, um, for donating your e-truggy for Marcel to run this weekend. Um, we're gonna convert Marcel to a techno driver here eventually. Um, but hey, yeah, he runs low C for now. Yeah, for now, see keywords there. But let's talk to Marcel. Good day there, folks. So yeah, my first big trip out here to Chilliwack. It was uh, it was fun. It was a great track, interesting track. Uh, talk about, I guess, e buggy would be the one that I started at the bottom with. It ended in the C main and didn't bump at all, but uh, ended somewhere in the 30s out of 54. Uh, next up would have been e truggy. I was in the B main and two seconds away from bumping to A. But uh, had a good run with it once. Uh, once I removed some of the broken pieces out of it. Sorry, Evan. <laughs> uh, and uh, then we went on two wheel buggy, 10 scale. Uh, Quali 10th in the A main, finished sixth or seventh. Uh, so good overall. Uh, it was a tough track for two wheel drive, 10 scale, but uh, it was fun. And then up to 4x4 four four short course. Uh, Quali did in 5th, then finished 6th overall. So, good turnout, it was fun, and uh, kind of look forward to next year. And thanks to everybody out at the big barn there, it was a lot of fun. Well, there's, uh, there's everybody, except for me, I guess. Um, we started off really, really good in Nitro Buggy. It was a uh, super, super, super uh, tight racing. Uh, we were in the last main or qualifiers, I guess, the, be the third round of qualifying. Uh, we were about three seconds was the difference between third all the way down to ninth. Um, so any little ball you made, uh, you really paid for it. The track was so fast. Holy man. If you let off just a split second, you were down about a half second. Um, so it was pretty, pretty insane. Um, big jumps, but it also kind of got really bumpy. So it's super hard to chase the setup. Um, you had to have a good shock package for the front triple, um, but you also had to have to had it soft enough um, to make it uh, through the rest of the track without getting huckabucked. Um, so it was kind of an interesting mix of what was going on, uh, but we ended up in the B main. We were 12th overall qualified. Um, and then we just had a really poor start. Uh, I screwed up on the start, 
and I crashed so I went from second all the way down to 10th uh, and then we fought our way back up to 5th so that was kind of a win um, but definitely wanted to bump uh, into the A uh, and then for Nitro Truggy we qualified 10th worked on it a little bit struggled with some clutch issues um, but we got that sorted out in the third main, or actually no, we got it sorted out for the A. Uh, the third qualifier, we actually broke. We broke a techno, which was kind of amazing. Uh, broke steering knuckle. Um, but it definitely uh, definitely was a pretty big tumble. Um, and then we finished, I think, ninth. I think, yeah, pretty sure ninth. But we had uh, an issue up on pit lane. Um, just with where I was sitting on the stand, couldn't quite see the entrance, uh, and I screwed up. Um, but we were a lap and a half down, fought all the way back up to seventh, and then uh, had some issues with some drivers. Uh, but hey, uh, it just wasn't our day at Nitro Truggy, what can I say? Uh, and then we go on to E Truggy, and this was my best class all weekend somehow. Um, so thanks, Aaron uh, One Eye, for letting me run your E Truggy uh, this weekend. So it was a rental program. Um, we worked on it a little bit didn't really do much just kind of set the ride height in the toe and that was about it um, and went out and TQ'd all three rounds of qualifying uh, we were we were a good a good second faster than some of the field um, and then uh, a couple guys Brian Cerniels uh, and Mark Ilton and a couple of those rocket ship fast guys out in BC uh, we we're about half second faster than them and we fought really really hard so I want to thank Brian, thank you again for all the awesome racing. Uh, we raced really, really hard in the first, second, and the third main, um, and it, it was one mistake was the difference between first or second racing with him, so uh, super, super clean with him. Um, he did not wreck us by any means, and, and we went back and forth, so thank you again. Um, but we ended up becoming the 2018 Big Barn Shootout Champion in E-Truggy, so that was a bonus. Uh, we finished second in the first main, uh, and then we won the second in the third, so uh, that locked her up for us. Uh, but yeah, uh, other than that, we're just going to continue on heading home, and just wanted to give a, a quick little update on what was going on. Uh, hopefully this comes through okay. Uh, we are in the big diesel, um, and Sean's got his foot up, uh, foot, foot right in her throat, because... Uh, Turns out we're going uphill. Would you believe we're doing that in the mountains? Um, but yeah, you better. You better. <laughs> well, you better. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna head on home tonight. It's uh, 7:20 local time. So at home right now it's 8:20. So we should be back home at 12, 1 o'clock. So it's gonna be a long night, but uh, we'll make our home safely. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for all the support all weekend. Um, you know, all the good lucks and all that stuff from all of you guys meant a lot so thank you guys all again um, and yeah if you uh, want to know more about what happened we'll be posting all the results in the mains once we get back to some Wi-Fi haven't had Wi-Fi all weekend and the phone is not liking me right now so um, yeah we'll just continue on with the trip and I'll post some more info here later thanks guys <laughs>